Hey guys, Thomas is so Junior here, aka Mustache Tom, and welcome back to the monthly movie horror reviews. This time I'm going to be checking out Rent a Pal. Uh, apparently this is based off of an old thing that used to happen. Uh, not that I was ever aware of it, but... Uh, we follow David, who is uh, desperately seeking someone to spend the rest of his life with. He's uh, buying up these little movie clips that... Uh, show these women who are also seeking uh, a romantic interest for partnership. Uh, this man's name is David and he lives in this little house uh, where uh, he goes to this little location that's pretty close by called The Rendezvous, uh, which is the location where the they are sent to these matches and they are they see them through these video cassette tapes and so on and so forth. So David goes to make a new updated version of his own. Uh, and he is told that men uh, get less time to talk about their interests than women do. Uh, which is interesting. Uh, anyway, uh, he collects the ones she's looking out for. And he sees this video called Rent a Pal, the name of the movie. So he picks that up as well. And when he plays the video, he sees the individual on the other side of the screen, this guy named Andy. Uh, and at first he only plays a little section of the video, not seeming all too interested in it. Uh, stopping the video pretty much immediately. Anyways, his mother, uh, David's mother, uh, is almost ready to head outside. She's this older character that's uh, suffering through dementia. Uh, when he returns, the video is already back on by itself. And he turns it back off pretty quickly. And he proceeds to watch some movie and uh, takes out some whiskey. Uh, he turns the video uh, back on after the fact. And he starts replying to the video as if he's almost talking to it and feeling a little bit silly at first. And he stops the video this time around, the part where he's, where Andy's talking about mom, moms in particular. So he ends up switching topics and ends up watching porn until the next day. So, uh, he gets up getting a call about this woman named Lisa that is perfect to match for her for him. Uh, and he goes to the store, finds out that he left his wallet at home, rushes back, uh, gets the wallet, and rushes all the way back to the store. And once he's gotten back to the store, apparently this Lisa had met someone else, so he gets all depressed and puts the rent a video rent a pal video back on, and he's replying to the video once again. And Andy, this time, is talking about this party that he went to and is, like, yelling, talking about, like, going ballistic, nearly. And we see a little montage of uh, David going through the video over and over again to the point of becoming addicted to responding to it as almost as if uh, this has become everything that he needs to. So... <clears throat> We hear about Andy's story and uh, 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 or sorry, David's story about how he had a crush when he was young, and had notes uh, that were written in his behalf to the crush, and that how that split him apart, and so on and so forth. So um, they get to this part where uh, the rent a pal character Andy is talking about this sexual moment. Which causes David to masturbate and get caught by his own mom. Uh, afterwards, David yells at her, uh, his mom, uh, and then comforts her after getting all mixed up with everything. So he gets a call, and this one's about getting with Lisa. Apparently, things didn't work out, and now he has an opportunity to actually meet up with Lisa. And this seems to be where the movie shifts. So they actually do meet up, and Lisa is able to talk to him, 
then they end up like skating very briefly and then uh, she gives him his number so he returns home and plays the video and it just so happens that the part of the video that he's playing is sh shifting the blame back at David oh so conveniently so he changes his plans and then proceeds uh, to open the door and then yells as he's driving along and getting angry uh, he co sorry uh, he calls up the date first I should have mentioned that um, and it turns out that he opened he left the door open so that leaves his mom to run outside or walk outside uh, oh wait, I have this out of order sorry he calls off the date uh, opens you know he's like getting ready to leave and he's like yelling then he calls Lisa again for some reason he's like driving to pick up his mom from somewhere so they meet up at his place and they kiss and the video comes back on uh, right off of the video and she's a little bit uh, freaked out by this and David's getting upset which causes her to leave but she doesn't feel completely like I'm just gonna leave the situation she like tries to call him and he deletes the call he tosses the number away and then he realizes that the tape he had was gone and sees that the, his mom cut up the tape so David hits her toward the ground and then he drives off into a rage so he rushes back to the store and yells to get another tape so they Bumble and give him another tape. So he's given him two new tapes. Uh, so David returns uh, to get the mother near the stairs and shoves her down the stairs. Um, he goes back to the video in a different room and we see that he's become so addicted to the Rent a Pal video uh, that. Wherever, whichever room he's in that has a television in it is showing the next part of uh, the little sequence that he's in on. Meanwhile, when Lisa arrives being concerned about the situation, uh, David is repeating line for line from what he heard in from the video. Of course, still being a little bit freaked out, David shows her what he did to the mom and she freaks over and falls over some food she manages to strangle up get strangled very briefly before she stabs him in the chest and runs off he manages to make his way back to the video one last time to hear the very end of it for the very first time most likely and that's where he dies and that was rent a pal in summary I do have a few issues with this movie uh, for the most part I thought it was solid when I was first thinking about it but uh, the sequence of events does seem a little bit rushed and its convenience of which part of the video is playing does seem a little bit over convoluted as well uh, like when as I mentioned when he needs to uh, you know when he's talking about the girlfriend uh, Lisa for the first time he just so happens to be at the part that's like getting angry that uh, he has this love life again that just seems really uh, convenient for the story here um, and convenient when Lisa arrives uh, to have David once again press the button have it on a moment that is uh, in direct consequence to what is happening in the situation uh, getting caught in the masturbation is another sequence when it is timed up so perfectly what's happening in the video it happens like three times in the movie 
up to the point of being a little over convoluted. It just seems a little bit forced. Um, and I think that's the biggest issue with this movie uh, in terms of like, oh, it just so happens to be it's this part of the movie that he's what part of this type of the video that he's watching. Um, and it happens for me way too many times. It's clearly happening three times that I can think of, uh, which is already one too many for me. Uh, I don't know. Now, maybe David set it up himself uh, for that to happen. I'm not really sure, but having that happen three separate times, I'm not sure. It's a little bit hard to figure out. Um, in terms of other than that, uh, the shift from David from being, you know, uh, living a pretty miserable life to being to becoming addicted to the video to having the chance to leave that addiction i feel like they could have done a little bit more with that in between gap uh to show like a little bit more of a struggle um but it it, it does feel like it's a little bit rushed in that regard as well um and in terms of like the little montage I built. That's probably the best sequence in terms of like figuring out like how toward the end I was able to copy and mimic every line in the Rent and Pell video line for line from when Lisa returns. Uh, definitely the ending definitely does seem to have a more unrealistic you know interpretation. It does seem like it's more in his head that he's seeing the videos pop up and turn on in different televisions as he's walking around the house. So I'm able to uh, concede at the very minimum that, you know, some parts of that were in his head, obviously, toward, at least towards the end of the movie. But there were definitely were also too many conveniences as well. And the pacing does seem a little bit off as well. So I'd probably say this movie is either like a 5 or a 6 out of 10 if I were to give it a proper score. Um, you know, I think that uh, slowing the movie down in regards to when certain elements happen probably would have helped significantly with this movie. Um, and it just seemed like, again, the conveniences just turn up a bit, a bit much. Uh, but other than that, I felt like the acting was fine. Um, and the writing itself, uh, was fine-ish. Uh, interestingly, when I went to go, uh, search for this, uh, poster, I saw that there was, like, another thing, like, another run to pal thing. So I think this, this is, this was based off of, like, an old idea, um, you know, becoming addicted to this, like, online, uh, thing, but earlier than that, like, before online was even a thing, uh, you know, the old school way of getting hooked up, uh, and getting addicted to the sort of pal that, uh, David thought he was having, to the point of getting angry at his own mom, to killing her, to trying to attempt to kill Lisa. Uh, and again, I feel like there isn't a bunch, but outside of the montage, I don't think that there's any other scene that would indicate that that would be the outcome. Um, and I do feel like they could have handled that with a montage and a little bit of, like, pull back away from it and then slowly getting wrapped back into it and having that part be a little bit slower. Uh, so yeah, that's my review of <clears throat> rent -a pal If you ended up enjoying this review, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Also make sure to check out the links in the description to one head over to my Discord server, the other to my Patreon page. Any donations are greatly appreciated. And until next time, everyone, bye-bye!